Don't go anywhere until you've learned this amazing effect to end your track. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mythical back here again for another quick tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to end your track using simple EQ automation fades, which will give the ending of your track a lot of atmosphere and emotion and it's very, very easy to do. But first, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so in front of me, I have a track that I wrote a couple of weeks ago that I think I may have featured in a couple of previous videos, but I like it because it's very atmospheric and emotional and I think it works really well for the particular tutorial that I'm going to show you today. Um, so what we're going to do is just take a quick listen to the track and we'll get some context for, for what we're working with. So here we go. Coming up on the ending. just ends with a basic piano and some other synth delay effect that I have automated um, but what I want to do is add a kind of a fade to gray effect on the piano so what we'll do is I'm just gonna have that on the main stereo bus and as you can see the stereo bus is alongside the rest of my instruments and if it's not like that for you it's very easy to do just by simply going to your master bus, going to where it says read, just select touch and go back up to read. And when you do that, your master bus will become available up here to do automations on and stuff. So what we'll do next is add a simple EQ. Okay. And we'll make sure both our high and low pass filters are on and activated. I'm just gonna turn this to 24 as well just to keep things similar, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press A for automation, and I'm gonna come down to my stereo bus here where it says display off. I'm gonna find my channel EQ. I'm gonna go to high cut frequency, go back down, and I'm gonna go to low cut frequency. So this is where we're gonna start drawing in some simple automation. I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, so let's just say I want the majority of the effect to start occurring right around 61. So we'll go here and we'll draw up to maybe 500. And we'll do the same thing with the high cut frequency. And down. So as you can see, nothing is affected right now because it's before the automations. But as I play, you'll see it all start happening. So let's give it a shot. Let's hear what it sounds like. And I think it adds a lot of atmosphere and emotion. And I think it's just a really cool way to do an ending, but you don't have to limit it to just the ending either. You can use this as a uh, effect on a drop, building up to a chorus and doing it in reverse. I think it really adds a lot of a lot of character there. And I also do it on synth buses and the drum bus. I do it on a lot of different things just because I think it sounds cool and it's really easy to achieve. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you found this small short tutorial helpful and if you liked it give it a like if not dislike it otherwise i will see you next time all right thanks